like this is like a drop arm spin. Boom. Right? I can do a load load thing. I can do a load hip toss. So I push. I give this guy a little pull and I load him up on my hips. That works. I can do a throw by. These guys do it better than me. So I'm gonna have them demonstrate it. You're gonna do the, the load hip toss. You're gonna do the throw by, Johnny. So I just load them on the hips and throw them over. Kind of like a headlock. Jeremy's doing a throw by. So now you're doing my now you're doing my hip toss. Oh, do what you're doing over here, Sad. That little throw by. And I was like, yes, that works. That's great. Hips go back. He goes throw by. There's a million ways to do this. I'm showing you one. But I come over here and I'm like, that's not what we're working on. But yes, that works. Yes, that works. There's no wrong answer, but what I'm, what I'm creating is a scenario where he's pushing me towards the zone and I brace and take my hips away. Here, I might brace and he'll throw by. But he doesn't throw by. But I want you to give this guy a look. We'll watch some film. There's a, multiple different ways that these guys are doing it. Some are twos, some are fours. Let's take a look. I'm showing you a specific drop hip toss where I'm dropping. And again, the main important thing that I want to drop is his hips go back. <coughs> that gives me room to rotate in here. But look, I look at his knee, where his toes are. Am I past his toe line? Am I in front of his toe line? Look at his, look at his stance right here. Is he strong right here? Yes. Oh, yeah, he is. Is he strong anymore? It don't take much. Okay, so let's watch these. Let's go back and play. But you can add that thrust, that low 